morning guys it is 10 41 and it is a wednesday so we are we are gonna get on our stuff today today is a chill day i just have to do a couple things um i might even honestly start editing the video for this weekend today but We'll see, ow, ow. I feel like I have like an inflamed tear duct, you guys. Do you see that? It like really, really hurts. And it's like my whole tear duct. I'm like, do you need help? Anywho, I'm gonna get up shortly and get ready. So I will catch you guys when I'm getting ready after breakfast. <laughs> I am back after breakfast and I'm ready to get ready. <laughs> that was funny. But I am actually getting ready to get ready. But I'm getting ready to go out and go to this coffee shop, which I'm kind of collabing with today. So that should be exciting. The coffee shop itself is located in Soho. So I feel like that'll be a nice little day to make out of it. And I've invited two other friends. One of them actually already was kind of in communication with the coffee shop as well. And he has his own little business and company. So if you guys haven't met Tom as before you'll meet him today and I also invited a friend who I met through Instagram who is also Ethiopian so this will be a nice little vibe because the coffee shop that we're going to is actually an Ethiopian coffee shop or at least Ethiopian inspired so yeah I'm excited to, to hit the road on that one I will be unbraiding my hair off camera because we do not have enough battery to last us the whole day and I want to make sure that I can get as much content as I possibly can so I'm gonna turn you guys back off for a sec and then right after I'm done I'll turn it back on and we'll kind of catch up because it's been a little while since we've actually like talked in a video so this is gonna be a nice catch-up session as well so I will be right back to catch you guys up on what's been going on lately all right, as you can see, I have unbraided these braids and I'm going to pair them with some sunglasses as always, pretty much. <laughs> Not always, but you know, most, most of my hairstyles are kind of like this just because it's honestly one of the easiest hairstyles to do for me. And I feel like it just makes everything look snatched in my, in my case. But what do you guys think? Leave something in the comments down below. I feel like honestly, maybe I have been overdoing it with this look, but it's okay. We will, we'll let it live. And then maybe I'll give it up in the spring. I really like how everything kind of looks right now. So I'm not gonna do too much, but I'm going to add some red. Cause I feel like this brown honestly just does something. And actually it's a red, but because I'm wearing the brown, it kind of mimics a brownish red as weird as that sounds. So honestly, I mm, I don't think I'm gonna do anything else. I would say mascara, but I have this like swollen slash, what is it, inflamed tear duct. So I'm kind of like, mm, no. And that's the thing is if I don't do anything else, I think this is pretty much the complete look. Yeah, I think it's a vibe. I don't need to really do the most. I also have this clip with me just in case I wanna like, you know, randomly halfway through be like, hey, let's throw her up. I can throw her up. I mean, this is not like the best throw up, but you know what I mean. <laughs> I think that wraps up my look for today because I'm not really like taking pictures or doing anything crazy like that. I'm just kind of vibing. And if we get pictures, that sounds good to me. If we don't, we've got multiple days in this week to do that. And I actually have a shoot tomorrow at some point. So it, it, I really don't need to take pictures today. Yeah, you guys, I think we're gonna head out now and kind of go to uh, Washington Square Park. But I think I'm gonna take the train today because I kind of want to read on my commute and we'll kind of get into that as I'm on my way out. So I guess I will see you guys on my commute. <laughs>
brings us to today's sponsor of the video, the Headway app. The Headway app is an app that you can download for free that helps you stay on top of your daily reading habits. This app is very unique because you can tell the app your goals and your likings so they can categorize books that you surely will love. Then you can set an amount of time each day that you'd like to read, whether it be two minutes, five minutes, or 10. The best part about the app is that you can allow it to send notifications to you and make sure that it's personalized so you get to decide when you actually want to read. If it's after your coffee, if it's before you go to bed, if it's on your commute, the Headway app has got you guys covered. So make sure to download the Headway app today and get started on reading and making yourself balanced for all days. guys just wanted to give you guys a quick little update since I am technically the first one here and I'm meeting the rest of my friends in a few minutes so we are gonna head up to Maqueda I think that's how it's pronounced it is in Soho so I'll link all the information down below if you guys want to check it out too I honestly heard about this place from my friend Thomas and he told me that you know it's like an Ethiopian he told me that it was an Ethiopian inspired coffee shop or like infused coffee shop. So we should be able to go over there and see kind of what they have to offer. But I know that it's not only a coffee shop and that they also have like a store aspect to it. So I think it's open for longer than 4 p.m. But the barista leaves at 4 p.m. So we're going to try to get there around like 2.30 ish and kind of like roam the store a little bit. Then we'll kind of figure out what we're going to do from there because I don't think we have any other plans. So we could probably do a little something something. But yeah, y'all, I just want to give you guys a real quick update of what was happening. But also, I don't know if you guys saw me read on the train earlier because that was honestly really good. So today's book was actually about soulmates and whether we're ready to meet our soulmate in a sense. So I started reading it and I only read like five minutes of it, but I thought it was really interesting. And I hope to read the rest of it tomorrow so that we can maybe even talk about it, you guys, because I think one of the best things about the Headway app is the fact that like it's so on the go, like if I have five minutes, I can just kind of like read at any point in time and also talk to you guys about like what I've read. So we will definitely keep tapping into the Headway app, but make sure you guys also check it out and I will keep reading till they get here. So I'll see you guys soon. I was a mac and cheese guy. I always give her mac and cheese. <laughs> Hey guys, so I wanted to give you guys a quick little update because I don't think we've chatted in a while, but essentially I am seated at, where am I? I'm like, I don't know, I'm outside a really cute store. Anyways, um, what is it called? It's oh, it's, it's oh, oh, oh like, yeah, it's like Eileen Fisher or whatever, however you say it, Elian Fisher, I don't know. Um, but we are seated right out here just so I could give you guys a quick little update of what the day has brought us. So we went to Maqueda, which is that coffee shop that we were talking about. I got some really cool clips. It was honestly super beautiful and you guys have to check it out in Soho. There's also a bunch of really cool galleries across the street. And there was a really nice manager that we met at the gallery across the street and her name is Emily and she's there Monday through Friday. So if you guys do go to Maqueda and you guys do end up going to the gallery, definitely ask for Emily and have a nice chat with her because that was just a great chat and um honestly great art so yeah guys this was a pretty successful day so far it's not over yet so don't even trip baby but we are i think we're gonna go to chinatown potentially get some buns and then my cousin basha just called me out of the blue and was like hey i'm in new jersey and i was like hey okay so since he's technically in jersey and he's gonna drive through anyways like we might as well get some dinner so that is what the itinerary looks like today but that pretty much wraps up this little update so i will see y'all on our way because my hands are getting tired you know how it is i, I can't so i will i'll see you when we're walking slash 
at our next destination. Hey all, I have not updated you guys in quite some time because obviously now I'm back home and I am winding down for the night. But I just wanted to insert a few photos of the night because obviously I did not vlog as much as I thought I was going to because once my cousin picked me up, we just kind of went to Brooklyn, went to this really cool sandwich shop. I think it's actually technically a bodega, but there's like a really famous uh, chef that works there. So it's like called Aki style and we got crazy sandwiches. So yeah, I gave everything I needed to give to be quite frank. And I'm actually very happy with everything that I tried today. But yeah, then my cousin dropped me back home. We took some photos and then I showered and now I'm here post braiding my hair, obviously. Yeah, guys, it was actually overall a really fun day and I am just ending the night tonight just with a little bit of a TV show called Rami. And then I'm gonna kind of start my day off tomorrow and do it all again, but I'm actually gonna start with work tomorrow. So you guys will probably see me in the study room or in my dining room just kind of getting work done. So yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, guys. <laughs> Today is Thursday, which makes sense because we started our vlog on Wednesday, yesterday. We are quickly approaching the middle of February, you guys, which honestly is crazy and it's true because February is one of the shortest months. Actually, it is the shortest month of the year. So we have like literally four days till the middle of the month. So since this video is a balanced video, I want to show you guys really what my days look like, especially more so recently because I have have been trying to find you know balance make sure I have a good work and play balance especially because I actually just quit my host position I don't think I mentioned that but I did because the job was just so unhealthy for me like it wasn't doing anything for my back and you guys know I have a little bit of back pain and it just was honestly a semi-toxic environment so I'm really glad that I left there I also have a cough drop in my mouth this morning because my throat's kind of like Mmm, sis. <laughs> Since the February deadlines are approaching faster than fast, <laughs> I feel like today is a perfect example of what a balanced day in my life looks like. So we are gonna meet up with some friends around 4 p.m literally like halfway through the day. And before I even think about hanging out with my friends, I have to get a bunch of work done. I'm gonna hit up a store to collab with in the Flatiron District. I'm also going to, okay, I just poked myself there. I'm also going to take photos for a brand today. And I also have to edit a video that's coming out for you guys this weekend. So a bunch of stuff to do, not a lot of time. It's okay though. So we're gonna get started. I'm gonna start unbraiding my hair for the day. And I'm gonna do that off camera cause you guys know it takes me like way longer when I'm on camera and there's kind of no reason to. You guys kind of know the vibe and we can catch up a little bit more once this is kind of done and I'm getting ready to take the photos for this brand cause we're saving time and energy today. So I will be right back <laughs> after unbraiding my hair. Ooh, okay guys, the curls are kinda, they're giving today, aren't they? They're giving volume, they're giving crimped. Not mad at it. I've honestly just been loving this hairstyle just because it is one of the most protective hairstyles I could ever do. I'm always sleeping with a bonnet on, my hair is constantly braided, and I feel like I'm seeing a little bit of length like my high school length back, which is really nice. Like I used to have hair like kind of up to here or literally like right up to here when it was straight. So if we can try to get that back, that'd be nice. But right now it's almost like right about here, I think is where it was, right? Yeah, I mean, it's pretty close. Hey man, braiding your hair, protective and uh, effective. Okay, maybe you don't sleep on that. Now it's actually time to get ready for the photo shoot. So I think I'm actually gonna get changed into the outfit that I'm gonna wear. So I did just get changed. This is such a cute outfit. I'll show you guys the rest of the outfit outside. We're gonna kind of head out and go to the study room area and kind of take photos around there. So let's just do a little, a little sum but I'm gonna use the red tint that's already on here because I just, I don't know. I'm not trying to open up the palette again. <laughs> I could do brows. I'm not really trying to do brows though just because my brows have been a little mm, irritated. So I think maybe just a little bit of mascara. So now that I'm done with that, I can just kind of find the white glasses that I'm gonna pair with this look, and then I will just meet you guys outside, okay? Let's actually, you know what? 
put some earrings on because <laughs> don't play baby we need them but other than that literally <laughs> i will see you guys outside in a few minutes <laughs> So I just stopped into my house real quick and I kind of adjusted my hairstyle. Just switch it up a little bit, you know. I already took my photos and I'm actually about to head on the train and let's go grub, you guys. I haven't eaten anything today. All I've had is coffee and it is 2 p.m., which is way later than my usual eating habits. I usually have breakfast around 10, but I really wanted to get on it today. So let's go get a well-deserved meal and then go to Brooklyn and meet up with some friends. About to go in. Look at this sign, y'all. It's giving. Ooh. Love that. You ready? Yeah. I know, I know, we have not spoken today. And I honestly, I couldn't tell you why. Uh, I just know that I was extremely busy and I had to fast track and edit this video for you guys that's coming out tomorrow as fast as I possibly could. And if I took a second to vlog, it would have just taken the time that I should have been editing out of it. So now that I have that video edited and ready to go, I'm actually way more comfortable, less stressed, and I'm babysitting today, so I will be leaving in like five to 10 minutes and uh, it shouldn't be too bad, but oh, my camera battery said it is going to die. I was honestly not expecting my camera's battery to be that low because I thought I had charged it, but apparently not. So I guess we're just gonna have to make do, but I will probably just enter snippets of reading and just, I guess the rest of the day um, in the next portion. But don't worry, the vlog is not over yet because I know today is kind of a lackluster day and I know I'm not really vlogging that much. So we will continue this vlog into tomorrow, which is really exciting. As you guys uh, know, I have been trying to keep a good work play balance life. So 
yeah, let's have some fun tomorrow. But for now, let's go babysit and finish off the day strong. Three hours later. Quick story time for you because I misread the, I guess, shifts for today because I was not on the schedule for babysitting today. So I did end up going to a whole other borough for practically no reason, but it's okay. I'm, I'm leveled. I ended up getting lunch and talking to Sam after because usually like our schedules don't even work sometimes. So it kind of worked out for the better because we have been missing each other a lot. So I was able to talk to him over like a late lunch and then he went to class and now it's like usually this would be like an hour into my babysitting shift but now um i guess i'm out in union square i got back into my neighborhood so here we are but yeah you guys this day definitely had me a little a little screwed up for a second because i was like i'm on the schedule for fridays and mondays but you know what it is okay it everything happens for a reason and honestly i was really tired and i've been kind of burnt out from doing a lot of back-to-back -back work so it all worked out i think in a sense even though you know i did spend energy and time and money to get there but it's okay we have better things coming towards our way and i'm really excited for tomorrow and i guess the rest of the day since now i'm kind of off so i think now that i've eaten i'm just gonna go home after a little walk and yeah, I'll see you guys there. It honestly ended up working out because I was able to actually finish reading today for the first time this week and it was really fulfilling and I just honestly felt like it was meant to be in a sense and I just ended up walking home and enjoying the views because the weather was kind of nice this day. What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? What? Eh. Okay. It is clearly Saturday. Uh, I have unbraided my hair. I've eaten breakfast. It was a good breakfast. I had some bacon, egg, and cheese on a uh, half a bagel because I know I'm about to go and eat a really good lunch. We're going to an awesome, eco-friendly, and zero waste restaurant in the Flatiron District. And I have been meaning to go there for a little bit now, like about a week or two. And I'm really excited to finally hit them up. So I wanted to get ready because, you know, we're going to make a little bit of a day out of it. I decided that I'd take a friend or two with me. So I think it's just going to be an adventurous day that leads to, you know, a lot of different opportunities, new experiences, and that's what we're here for at the end of the day, baby. And it's Saturday, and it's warm for the first time in a long time. It's 50 degrees, and we're gonna live it up. We're gonna live it up. It is really 50 degrees today, so I'm actually about to live my best life. Crop top energy? Is that what we're giving? Probably. So let's get dressed up, and then I'll come back on camera and do all the Hey guys, let's finish up this look. I am wearing a Valentine's inspired look because it's Valentine's weekend and my Valentine is in a whole nother state. So <laughs> I will be over here mini celebrating Valentine's Day, I guess. But uh, I will be celebrating Valentine's Day soon because I'm going to LA and baby, <laughs> waiting for those gifts the second I arrive. Okay, Sam, where's the gifts? <laughs> I am actually excited to go back because we should have a bomb and beautiful time. So I'm gonna put on some earrings because I always love dangles and hoops and all those things. But um, I also don't know what this is still. I think in the beginning of the vlog I told you guys, I was like, is my tear duct swollen or something? But I honestly just think it is kind of like a mini, mini pimple slash mini cyst on my tear duct, but Hopefully it's like, not a big deal. <laughs> but comment down below if you've ever had a bump in your tear duct section. I'm just, I'm waiting for it to start going down, but do I need to drain you, ma'am? So since we are doing a mini Valentine's inspired look, I don't know what that was y'all. I, I always get some on the brush and then try to like honestly brush most of it off because we want the tint, we don't need anything else. So now that we've kind of completed our look, I know my makeup looks are like kind of bland lately, but I'm just trying to keep the skin happy. The skin is happy minus, I, I don't know. Other than that, like I guess tear duct slash like 
irritation um, on the corner of my eye, everything's pretty fine. So like, I think what I've been doing, which is just shea butter, literally nothing else on my skin, but shea butter. After the prescribed cortisone that I had actually kind of helped me wean off it well, because usually after you use cortisone for like two, three weeks, your body is shocked when you remove it. Your body becomes so dependent on these steroids and these creams that the second you take them off, they're like, okay, I need you to slowly maybe wean me off, not just quit cold turkey. So I feel like the perfect medium for me when I was first like getting off using the cortisone creams and stuff was shea butter. I think anything natural like a butter or a cream would work, but as long as it's unscented, obviously, I feel like that is just baby. That's just basic knowledge. Yeah, so I've, I think the shea butter, a body butter is what you're looking for because you want to kind of like slug yourself. I know that sounds weird, but this one influencer from Canada like talked about it, I think recently when they went to Florida, but I think her name's like Emma Ledger or Emma Lager or something like that. I don't know how to pronounce it, but she was talking about how um, one of the roommates on her trip was like slugging her face. And she was like, what is slugging? Explain it for the people. And her friend was like, uh, slugging is just basically when you put a lot of cream on your face and kind of let it seep through your skin in the night so that you wake up moisturized still, not with like dry skin, cracked skin or anything like that. And I thought that was interesting because I feel like I do that every night. I don't call it slugging, I just call it a regular nighttime routine. But <laughs> hey, for the people who are new and, and are not used to using a lot of cream for whatever reason, slugging will be your best friend. Just literally like put a shit ton of like an oil-based slash butter-based cream without fragrance. Thank me later. Let's get on out of here and go to Sen or Sen. I don't want to pronounce it wrong, but I'm going to put their Instagram right here so you guys can check them out. And we will be over there really shortly because I'm going to take a quick stroll in this beautiful weather and get my behind over there right about now. <laughs> 